Hi, I'm Bill Weinman. In order to follow along with the exercises in this course, you'll need a code editor and a modern C++ compiler. Any compiler that supports C++20 should work. An IDE like Visual Studio can be an excellent environment for using the exercise files. For demonstration purposes, I mostly use Xcode on a Mac because it has a clear, uncluttered display and it's easy to compile and run the code right there in the same tool. I also demonstrate a few things on Windows using Visual Studio. Keep in mind that any editor and compiler that supports C20 will do fine. You do not need to use Xcode or Visual Studio. The exercise files for my courses may be found on my GitHub at github.com slash bweinman and the exercise files for this course are at github.com slash bweinman slash cpp toolchain. You can easily download a zip file of the exercise files by pressing on this code button and downloading the zip file. You can then unzip that file and store the exercise files someplace where you can find them wherever you like on your PC. I've stored them here on the desktop. In this lesson, I'll show you how I set up Visual Studio on Windows. If you're not using Windows or if you don't want to use Visual Studio, you may safely skip this lesson. So I'm going to come down here and open up Visual Studio. For my Visual Studio setup, I create a new project and I select Empty Project. Now this is important. It is a console app but you don't want to select console app because that's a Windows thing and it has all kinds of extra code in it and that's not what we want. We're just teaching the language C++. We're not teaching any particular operating system or any particular graphical interface. So this is just a plain C++ console app and that's the one we want. Empty project. So I'll just double click on that. We'll name the project CPP working. I'm going to store it in my home directory and your home directory obviously will be different than WEW and you can name this whatever you like, store it wherever you like. This is just how I do it. As long as you can find the files, that's all that matters. And I like to place the solution the project in the same directory. It's just simpler that way. I'm not a big Visual Studio user. I know that it has other options and they just seem more complicated to me. We're trying to keep it as simple as possible for this purpose, for our teaching purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and select Create. And don't show me that again. And this creates our project and opens Visual Studio and it opens the project, which is just fine. They call it a solution and inside the solution is our project. And before we go any further, we want to set up our compiler so that it compiles with the C++ 20 standard. But in order to do that, we have to first open a source file. If I come in here and open the properties, it won't give me the option for the compiler until we have a source file open. So I come down here to source files and I right click and I select add existing item. And you see it's shift alt A. So you can use that in the future, shift alt A. And it opens this dialog box and inside this dialog box, I'm going to select my exercise files on the desktop, which I've already done. And I'm going to make a copy of hello.cpp. And I want to make a copy here so that if I make any modifications, I hold down the control key and drag it, and that'll copy it. And it creates a copy called hello-copy.cpp. And this allows me to make changes if I want to and always have the original to go back to if I need to. So I'm going to double click on my copy. That'll open it in my project. Now it knows that my project is C++ because it sees a C++ file in there. And I come up here, not to the solution, but just below it to the project. I right click, select properties, and it'll give me my C++ options here. And under C++, under language, you notice that the default is C++14, which is not at all what I want. I want C++20. I'll usually select the preview with all the latest working draft features. That's not necessary. You can select C20 if you like. I'm going to select that one, click apply and OK. And now I can open my Hello World. The purpose of the Hello World program is just to test your development environment, and that's all we're doing here. I'm going to come up here to the debug menu. And start without debugging is the option we want. Control F5. And it builds it. 
and it runs it and it says hello world. So that means that our tool chain is working as expected. I can press any key to close this window. And now it's important to remember that this has a main function in it and you can only have one main function in a C++ program. So we can only have one file with a main in it in our project, otherwise it won't compile. If I'm going through the lessons and I need to change my file to another one of the files from the lessons, I have to actually delete this. So I'm gonna press the delete key and add another one. And so come out here, add existing item or shift alt A, and I can select a different one. I'm just gonna go ahead and select hello copy again, but that's how you would select a different file. And now you can open that and control F5 to build and run, and there we have hello world again. So now your Visual Studio is set up for C++ and C++20. You know how to add and move around your files, and you know how to build and run your examples with control F5. Visual Studio is an excellent IDE and has many configurable options. This simple setup should give you a good working environment to follow along with the exercises in this course.